Hello my creative peeps and welcome back to today's video. Today I'm sharing with you the journals that I'm using in 2022. If you're interested in the planners I will be using, that will be a separate video coming next week, so stay tuned for that. Uh, but yeah, without further ado, let's just jump into what I got going on. I just realized <laughs> there was one missing from the stack. <laughs> Whoops. I'm not going to make you wait. Let's get into the juicy stuff first. Uh, this here is the creative journal that I've chosen to use for 2022, which may come as a giant surprise to many of you, especially uh, if you've been around here for a while. If you're new here, let me show you what my journals usually look like. So usually for my creative uh, journal, which I use for like memory keeping and art journaling, uh, they usually look like this. This was an insert that I used uh, that I created myself for kind of the summertime. And then this is the one I just finished. This was September through December. So uh, you may notice that this is quite different. At the start of 2021, I actually used a large journal around this size. It was a giant um, Dino Wakely mixed media journal. If you're interested in the journals that I used for 2021, I will be doing a flip through of those soon and kind of showing you my favorite pages and stuff from the year because that was a request from one of my patrons. So I'll be sharing that with you here in the coming months or so. But uh, yeah, I really missed the size. And I'm just going to come right out and blame Bai Bun, <laughs> Roxanne from Bai Bun, for this uh, journal because she uses a sketchbook like this and this sound got me. <laughs> so this is a moleskin. It's, let me just pull out the thing so I don't say it wrong. It is a moleskin classic collection soft cover plain notebook. And yeah, that's that's what I'm using as my creative journal for 2022. So I have started it a little bit, but I haven't done much. I'm excited to see how this evolves. Uh, it does have pretty junk paper. This was the test page that I showed you here. Uh, pretty much everything bleeds through, as you can see. Uh, even just like a regular marker will bleed through. But... I just couldn't help it <laughs> with the sound of the paper. I'm sure some of you can understand. And I really liked the large size. It's kind of comparable to a composition notebook. So uh, I have some supply testing going on in the back. I have my little mantra introduction page here that I did, uh, basically summing up what I want this journal to be for me in the year coming, which is just a, a journal. It's my creative journal, right? I put like paint and stuff, as you can see, but I want to make sure that I'm also documenting just like little pockets of just everyday ramblings. I do have a personal journal that contains more long form journaling, but I really wanted to put some of that in my creative journal this year since I've had such a hard time in the past uh, keeping up with filling in the writing portions next to the photos that I'm putting in. So ironically, in this one, so far I have writing but no photos. So <laughs> so that's, that's a funny switch. But I just kind of summed that up in a quote there. Uh, I got the buy bun sticker advent which was amazing for Christmas uh, so I put one of her ghosts there and just kind of wrote about how I picked this journal because of her crinkle sketchbook uh, another sticker by her I did like a little half page and put 2022 on it uh, and then I put a little reminder to myself like remember this is junk crinkle paper assume that everything will bleed through <laughs> use wet media on only one side embrace the unpredictability and have fun just so that i remember uh when i come to this to like be mindful of where i'm putting things because usually if you know me at all i just slap things wherever i want so very just intuitively so 
I wanted to remember that. I'm going to write another intention here. This is my word of the year that I chose, which is engulf. I pieced together my own definition of what that meant based on, you know, other definitions and synonyms and stuff. So to submerge or immerse, to surround or cover completely, to devour or consume and gross and overflow. I'll talk more about that in my planner video if you want to know more. So stay tuned for that. But again, just piecing in random stuff. This is how I work very like haphazard on a bunch of pages at one time. Uh, this is kind of a page in its ugly stages here in this random mango sticker. <laughs> uh, and then I just have this page. I've already started testing our wish list supplies. If you don't know, this year I'm doing a series over here on YouTube called I Try Your Wish List Supplies. And the first one uh, that was chosen by my patrons was acrylic inks. I have them all here on my desk. So I've already started filming that video. That should be coming out either next week or the week after. So definitely subscribe and turn on the notification bell if you want to see that. But we'll be doing a new supply every month. Um, and they're voted on by my patrons, but the suggestions come from you guys. So definitely keep an eye out for that. So I'm just doing testing in the back for that. And that's literally all I have in here so far. But I'm really, really excited to dive into this this year. I really wanted this not only to be my creative journal where I do like my memory keeping with my photos and stuff, but also to be the journal that I experiment in. I'm hosting a creative journaling class this year. Uh, I, we actually just uh, posted the first lesson yesterday. I'll leave the information link below for you in case you want to get in on that. Uh, but I wanted to be able to have like a big enough book so that I could do kind of the lesson testing and things in there alongside my stuff. And then of course, all the testing for the supply videos. So this is really like a working book and my creative journal. I don't know how many months I'll be able to fit in this, but uh, we'll find out, right? So that is my 2022 creative journal. Moving on, since I just talked about the class, we'll talk about this real quick. Let me get that one out of the way. Uh, this is a insert that I'm using for the creative class that I'm teaching this year. Uh, in the class, every month there's a new lesson that covers a different topic. Our first lesson, which went up yesterday, like I said, was all about breaking in your new journal and bonding with it. So if you want to see kind of the different techniques that I used in here, plus a bunch more, uh, definitely check that out. But I will be using a journal specifically for that because at the end of the class, my hope is that myself and all of my lovely creative peep students will have a journal full of fun exercises and kind of their own personal style and different tools and things for them to move forward and use uh, for years to come. So that's kind of that. You won't be seeing much of that here, of course, because, you know, it's for the class. But like I said, if you're interested, I'll leave the class stuff linked below. Next is one of my favorite journals, and it's also one of your favorite journals to see me work in, it seems. Uh, this is my overflow journal that I'm currently working in. If you don't know what an overflow journal is, I did a video a while back talking about uh, what it is to me and what I put in it and a little look at the one I was using before this, so I'll leave that linked in a card for you above. But I chose to do an altered book this time around. I haven't done much in here, so it's kind of like starting it new for the new year. Uh, but this is a book about Egypt, which I have a love for Egypt. <laughs> um, don't know why. I actually don't know much about its history, but um, I don't know. I'm just really drawn to it. So on the cover here, I just stuck some stuff down. This is a Buy Bun sticker, um, Buy Bun washi tape. This Back here is actually a collage sheet printable that I got from Courtney Diaz a while ago. A magazine clipping. So I'm just slowly putting things on the cover. I apologize for any of the, the glare on the glossiness here, but this is uh, where I've kind of started. There were some like pop-up things left in the book, so I've like left those in there. 
I stuck in some vinyl stickers I've been hoarding, a magazine scrap. So this is very much just like uh, an overflow, again, by Bun Courtney Diaz, of just like random stuff. I glued some coloring pages in here, which I haven't colored anything on yet. Uh, junk crayon boxes. I painted around these pyramids with leftover paint. There's a tea tag and some packaging. More buy bun stickers. <laughs> I'm really hot on buy bun right now. Can you tell? Leftovers from me making stickers for my Etsy shop. More packaging and magazine stuff. This is a page that I've started with a bunch of uh, tags from my Dog Shadows toys that I get in because we get Bark Box. So I thought that would be fun. Uh, Bree from Documented Journey gave me this eyeball sticker, which is awesome. I'm really excited loving how this page is coming out so I guess you're getting an impromptu flip through <laughs> but yeah this is the the overflow journal I'll be working in uh probably for the whole year these usually take me literally years at a time just because I don't work in them often uh they're not really meant for any specific purpose other than for fun so like I said I'll leave that uh video all about my overflow journal linked below in case you want to check it out but i'm excited to kind of carve around the pages and leave in the images that i want to keep and get rid of the ones that i don't swatches love this page and it even came with stickers so i'm definitely going to use those at some point but that is my overflow journal for 2022 i've probably said the dates all wrong in this video but you guys know what i'm talking right? And if I haven't, then gold star. <laughs> gold star to me. Next is a journal that, again, is going to be over a long period of time. This is a five-year journal. This is the Hobonichi Cousin size, so it's like an A5 size. Uh, it starts in 2022 and goes to 2026. I actually received this in 2021 in the end of September. So I wrote a little entry in here and then I actually in October did like pretty much an entry every day and I was using this bottom corner here to do like a 2021 little section of my own. So I did all of October I did one day in November, two days, sorry, two days in November. That one I only wrote the date on. <laughs> and I did a couple days in December, around Christmas time and New Year's Eve. But yeah, I'm really excited to start this and see where it goes. Um... I wrote my word of the year at the top because I thought that would be fun to kind of see as the years go on because I don't know what else I'm going to do with these random year overview pages. I'll probably fill this up with stickers as time goes on. I'm trying not to load it up with stuff because this is going to be like a five-year <laughs> journey, like five in a couple months. So there's that. Love how this came out with the watercolor. And then I've just been plain old writing in it. Uh, I have this super ugly thing that I did <laughs> with some leftover acrylic ink. So I'm sure I'll remedy that in one of the coming years. And then I just have this card in here to hold my spot. But yeah, that's my five-year journal. Uh, if you have one of these or you follow someone and you like theirs, definitely let me know. Um, I was heavily inspired by James Luke Burke and by bun to finally do this. I've thought about it for several years and then I was like, no, you wouldn't keep up with it. So don't get it. <laughs> so, um, I decided to splurge this year and we will see how it goes. Cause these puppies are not cheap, man. And then last but not least, I have two journals that again, you probably won't see much of, but I do want to talk about them. These have to do with my spiritual practice. If you want to know more about these every month on my Patreon, there's a spiritual tier and I do like a spiritual updates, chat, show and tell type of thing over there about different topics, um, card deck hauls, things like that, where I'm at on my journey, etc. 
A lot of you have asked what I have done with this journal. You may recognize this from literally like four years ago, probably now, maybe more. I purchased this journal from Mike Deacon. It was a, uh, a astrological type journal. Uh, it was called the Fortune Teller's Handbook. And it's one of those like coffee dyed, uh, tea dyed, junk journals and I never did anything with it. I just hoarded it for like ever and ever and ever. <laughs> and I finally, I altered the cover a little bit from uh, when I first got it, but I've gotten several questions over the years of like, what did you do with that journal? And <laughs> I had to be like, it's still on my shelf. I haven't used it. So now I'm using it for something, yay. <laughs> Uh, so this is my spiritual handbook that I'm putting together uh, with just like different topics I'm researching and stuff. So again, I won't be showing much of this on here, but if you'd like to see some of that uh, over on my Patreon in the specific spiritual tier, you can do that as well. If you kind of like these like monthly flip throughs and stuff, I also encourage you to check out my Patreon. Uh, for $5 a month, you get a monthly flip through of all of my journals and planners and where it's at and chats about supplies and things. And you also get a monthly journal with me. So shameless plug. <laughs> Moving right along. This is kind of exciting and kind of disappointing to be honest. So this, you guys may remember in 2020, I used a, let me just get it. In 2020 for my bullet journal, I used a, what is this called? I always forget. Taroko Design Enigma. This was an A5 notebook that I cut down to standard size and I used it in this cover by Planner Perfect for a long time. I'm obsessed with this cover. I love it so much. If I could only keep one, it would probably be this one. Uh, but anyway, this is like one of my most viewed videos is this setup. But I used this in 2020 and I freaking loved it and I really missed it. So I decided to do the kind of same setup in a new notebooks. I did the same thing. I purchased the uh, Nanami A5 7Cs notebook. This is Tomoe River Paper in the thicker GSM and I cut it down. Uh, this one was standard size, and I left a little extra on the one that I did next. It's kind of uh, almost moleskin size. But, yeah, so I did that. I collaged the cover. I'm so sorry about the glare. There's nothing I can do. I have packing tape on it, and it's in a Midori MDA5 plastic sleeve that I modified and taped wrapped around so that I could put it on the string. You probably can't see it very well, so I apologize for that, but also excuse the fact that I don't really have it like set up yet. I wanted to try the other style that Jenny from Planner Perfect has. Uh, this one had the card slots with like the wallet zipper, uh, and then this one has just like a pocket and then a slot for a notepad in the back. Um, and the reason I'm disappointed is not because of the notebook itself, really. I mean, her her quality is excellent. The price is high, but you get, like, I don't feel like I paid too much for it, if that makes sense. Um, her leather is exquisite. It smells amazing. I literally used this for, like, a whole year and banged it up, and I've used it since. And it's just, it looks like the day I got it, and it smells like the day I got it. <laughs> So this is not a knock on her notebooks at all, but my problem is I was looking for a very specific color and this does not look like the color on the website at all. And I want other people to know in case they were also looking at this one. I think this one is called Azura. The photo on the website definitely makes this look like it's a sea blue lagoon like blue green color uh, which is exactly what I wanted however this looks like a faded worn out pair of jeans not to say this isn't beautiful it's still a stunning cover and I'm happy to use it but I was had my heart set 
on what I thought the color was going to be and was very upset upon opening it. So again, no, not knocking the company. I love them. I will continue to purchase their products and believe they're worth sharing. Uh, hashtag not sponsored. But all it's to say, don't make my mistake. If you're going to purchase a leather cover, definitely look up videos of the cover and not just look at the photos on the website because photos can be edited and to you should edit your photos, right, to make them look nice. However, sometimes it changes the color tone and then you end up like me and not super happy. So with all that nonsense out of the way, uh, this is my personal journal. Like I said, not really going to show much of it. I did go ahead and collage the inside a little bit, uh, but this is my personal spiritual journal. I just do daily writing in it. I do card draws. I study things and yeah, that's, that's that. I need to set it up more, like I said, but that's my personal slash spiritual journal. And that brings us to the end of my journal stack for 2022. I hope you enjoyed these chatty flip throughs. If you'd like to see the planners that I'll be using for the new year, stay tuned for that video coming very soon. But yeah, let me know in the comments below what you're using for 2022. Are you like a one journal person or do you have a bunch or maybe more than me? Uh, I'd love to hear all about your setups and things below. If you posted a video, post it down below. I want to see. Uh, <laughs> I'm nosy like that, but I'm super excited to work in these this year uh, and share them across my various platforms. So thank you guys so much for being here. Thank you to my patrons for sponsoring today's video. They help make what I do over here on YouTube possible uh, while still paying my bills and feeding my dog Shadow. So they are rock stars. You guys are rock stars. I hope you have a fantastic start to the new year and I'll see you guys again soon. Take care guys. Bye.